Z, Z, plant. Yeah. Seriously, let me introduce you to the easiest plant there is out there in the plant kingdom. And here's the reason why. I've had this plant for probably three years, really haven't done much with it, really haven't even thought about it. Haven't, I mean, I've looked at it, but outside of that, watered it here and there. Uh, basically, you know, just gave it whatever kind of light, whatever kind of humidity, whatever kind of water. It really isn't particular about how you go about the daily ins and outs as far as care goes. And I'm gonna get into all of that in this video. But before I do, once again, make sure you like and subscribe and tune in to some of my future videos for more tropical house plants. But uh, once again, back to the ZZ plant short for Zamaculus Zamofolia. Try saying that five times fast. And this one is a, a interesting one. It's actually one of my more common house plants. You'll see these everywhere. You can find them at your local garden centers. You'll even find them in Walmart. They're, it's because they're so low maintenance, so easy going. They really don't, are not particular about care in any given way. What I mean by that is they don't really mind if they're in low light, they can take some bright light. Uh, I would try not to give them full sun. I don't think they can handle that. However, I've seen them in some pretty bright spots and they do just fine. This one, it, uh, it hasn't given me any trouble whatsoever. I have it in a spot actually over here. I'm not sure if the camera's focused over there, but where it's at it's getting kind of like a medium to medium low light if there was a gradient on that scale and i mean as you can see it's pumping out new growth like crazy left and right and i really haven't done much with it i give it water probably once every week week and a half uh really not more than once a week it's generally week and a half every two weeks you want this one to dry out really uh, and the reason why is because there's these little bulbs these little kind of they're like like spherical shaped uh things in there and they will rot and that's the only way you're going to kill this thing is that you're watering too much all of you out there that are like what's going on with my plant and why is it dead or dying? This is because you're watering way too much. Back off. Like you really don't, I'm trying to stress this enough. You really don't have to baby this thing. It just is, it just does its thing. It uh, likes to dry out. But I will add that you want to be consistent with the watering. You know, don't water once a week for a while and then skip to like once a month or skip to like once every two try to space them somewhat evenly and i think i think you'll have more success with this one and also you know so soil type what i would recommend is like a uh more of a well draining almost like a succulent or a cactus soil you're not going to want those really uh like peat or uh, the coconut core rich um, blends that hold water too long, that's going to be the bane of this existence. You're going to want something that's going to dry out, you know, as fast as I recommended watering. So, you know, something that would be dry within a week and a half or something like that. Kind of play around with it, but uh, I would maybe test your potting soil on some other plants. And if that's something that's uh, staying wet for lo too long, don't try that out on this one. You know, I would uh, also, yeah, I mean, humidity is not a, a real factor with this one. It doesn't need a ton of humidity. It doesn't need a ton of light. It doesn't really need to be, I mean, you can feed it like a, just a well-balanced fertilizer 
in the spring and summer i would probably not do that too often maybe like once a month maybe at once every two weeks tops uh, just to keep these leaves nice and green you know get the dust off of them they would appreciate that and uh oh just an inter in interesting tidbit of information on the respiratory benefits of this one it's a huge air purifier i mean probably one of the most air purifying plants that you can find out there and that's why it's really good to have around the house i have a few of them here and there because they offer some of the highest amounts of fresh o2 so it's definitely worth having around just even for that benefit or purpose alone but you know also because it's a, a stunning easy going plant great for beginners great as a gift great as a introductory or something to kind of put in a corner if you just kind of want to add a little pop of color or something green and you'd be surprised how easy this one is so once again go ahead and grab yourself one if you see it out there don't be afraid you can do this and once again look out for some of my future videos and we'll see you on the next plant marks the pot stay tuned